Hello, my name's Wendy Thompson. I'd like to offer you 40% of my business in return for £50,000. Um, many years ago, when I was in my early 20s, I specialised in the treatment of children. And I couldn't get the equipment I needed to um, augment my treatment. So I invented some, but there was one piece of equipment that I never designed and never developed, the health swing. The ancient Greeks got there first because they used to use swinging as a magical uh, transformational activity. So with the health swing you've got the ancient but with a modern twist. Coming fast forward to about 15 months ago, my husband had a stroke and we both had to adjust and um, I thought, right, I better sell my cattle because I had two lovely herds of cattle. And then I thought, well, I want to use the money in designing the health swing. It's a progressive whole body exerciser strengthens and it mobilizes. Now I'd just like to demonstrate the, the swing now. Um, it is only a prototype. Um, Elizabeth is going to demonstrate it without any resistance at all. Right, now I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to put up the resistance. Um, right, off you go. I've really put the resistance up quite a lot, so she's really having to work at it. Um, and because she's burning up more calories, she's using her cardiovascular system, her respiratory system as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. After nearly 50 years with it on the drawing board, physiotherapist and lecturer Wendy Thompson from the Isle of Wight believes the time is right to launch her new therapeutic rehabilitation swing. She needs £50,000. It seems to have brought back memories for one dragon. Hello, I'm Theo. Hello, Theo. All right, swinging. I, I, as a kid, I used to always like yes. to be on swing. Yes. Okay? And mm. it really is therapeutic. Mm. But the minute you put the resistance up, it became a workout. And you know what? It didn't look very nice. Well, I'm sorry you didn't like it, but um, you don't have to have it as an exercise machine. You can just get on it and go. I've been to gyms, but you see, in our world, not everybody can go to the gym. If they had this in their home, they can watch television by it. They can actually increase their blood supply. I know you're saying, but we're going to get it down. This was just made to prove the concept. Could, could, could it be adjusted to hang from a joist or a ceiling or a yes. door frame? Or, yes. I, I don't know. Yes. This was just made for the prototype. Okay. Authoritative responses from the likeable entrepreneur. So what of her background? Peter Jones wants to know. Wendy, you mentioned caring, you've done some amazing things, but have you ever set a business up? I was born on a farm and, you know, farming is business. I worked before I went to school, milked a cow, all that sort of thing. So um, that really, I suppose, was where I became a bit resilient and I'd sort of solve things. Then, um, then I had a career in um, chartered physiotherapy. Then I took a degree in rehabilitation at Southampton, which was research. But it's not until now that I've been able to say, right, this is what I'd like to sort of do more of. Wendy? Yeah. How much is it? What I thought was, there's virtually three markets. There's the home market, the gym market, and the rehabilitation. The home market is perhaps the most valuable market. Yeah. So I'd have a small version made for the home. How much would it cost? That would be retailing at £500. OK. Yeah. Tell me about the people that you mentioned who can't get to the gym. Who are they? Um, well, just take my bank manager. He comes back home and he... Tell me, why can't he drive to the gym and walk in the front door? Because, actually, there's not too many gyms on the Isle of Wight, which is where I come from. Oh, you live in the Isle of Wight? I live on the Isle of Wight. 
Have you not got Jim there? No, I haven't, no. Okay, let's see if we can put the Isle of Wight to one side one okay, day. Yeah. Because you said that you'd been to Jim's. Which Jim have you been to with this that said they would buy one? Freshwater Jim. Never heard of it. Where is that? On the Isle of Wight. Okay. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> yes. Wendy. Wendy. Uh, okay. Can I ask you? Can, sorry. Can I get back to why yeah. you came in here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wendy. Um, <laughs> do you know my auntie Joyce on the Isle of Wight? <laughs> 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 The dragons are clearly beguiled by Wendy, and the atmosphere is far from den-like. But Hilary DeVay wants to bring it back to business. Wendy, hi, I'm Hilary. Um, have you spoke to neurologists and neurophysios about this product? No. Um, Why? Well, because, uh, to be honest, Hilary, I don't really need to, because I'm well, the one that knows... Yes, you do, because... Right. A few years ago, I had a stroke, quite Did a serious you? stroke. Right, yes. I mean, I couldn't even spell the word the. No. And I, I went no. from running a hundred million turnover business one day to not even being able to put pyjamas on the next. Yeah, no, that's terrible. And at the time, they didn't have the right c equipment in the hospital to give me the right physio for the no. type of stroke that no. I had. And I ended up with a paralysed arm, a paralysed arm and a paralysed leg. Yeah. Um, and, and to this day, I'm still experiencing that. Right. Because there right. is definitely a shortage of this equipment. Yes. Both yes. in the private sector yes. and the NHS sector. Yes. So if it works and you've got neurologists on side to say it would work yes. for post-stroke victims, yeah. then I definitely think you have a market in the health sector. Hilary, I know I've got a market. A candid exchange and one that ends with a passionate defence of her product. Now, will Deborah Meaden be tempted to invest in Wendy? In terms of the market, have you talked to anybody at all about supplying these to them? No, I haven't. I need some money to put it to production design. I guess what I'm looking for here is some indication of anybody that you would supply it to being interested in buying it. Yes, I actually went on a cruise, um, and I, so I have spoken to other therapists and, and sort of said, what would your reaction be to this sort of um, uh, um, equipment? Okay, yeah. I'm actually going to, I'm going to be very short on my questioning. Mm -hmm. uh, before you go to all of that expense, finalising it and then going out to a market and the market saying, oh, <laughs> no thanks, not mm -hmm. at all interested, mm -hmm. um, find somebody who thinks it's such a good solution to the problem that they will either invest in you or at very least say when it is produced I'll buy one preferably some I won't be investing I'm out thank you heartfelt advice but no cash and Theo Pafitis looks to have made up his mind too Wendy you're fabulous. I don't actually think this is a money-making venture, and that's what I'm here to do. So I'm going to say to you, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity, but it's not for me, so I'm out. Um, it's not something that any gym owner is going to buy and put in his health clubs or gyms, because it doesn't add anything. So for that reason, I'm going to tell you where I am. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy, I don't see this product getting into the domestic home. In terms of the swing, I think it's fantastic, but the swing has been around for a long time. So I don't see that as a real scalable business opportunity because I'm not convinced that people would want to buy one of these moving it could be manufactured. And I'm going to say I'm out. Three dragons out in quick succession. Now, only Hilary DeVay can rescue Wendy's investment dreams. Wendy, because you're so lovely, I'm tempted to say, there's 50 grand. But that would be my heart ruling my head. Commercially, 
that would be totally the wrong thing for me to do because you know 50 grand will go nowhere I can't invest any money but what I will invest with you is time with the Stroke Association and some top neurophysiosts that I know to see whether or not they think there's an opening for this in the private medical sector or in the NHS. I'm more than happy uh, to spend time much. with you. So unfortunately from a business perspective I've got to say I'm out but the offer is there please do contact me. Thank you. Thank you all. Charmed as they were, none of the dragons could find enough of a reason to invest. Wendy leaves with nothing. <laughs>